who wrote this note? Behavioral issues. When I pay money every month to talk to people about it, I talk to people and they tell me what the issues are, so I don't need to hear it here. It's the least of my problems. At number 10, Rihanna. Rihanna might seem like a nice, happy-go-lucky person who's always going hard for her fans, but it turns out that she actually has a little bit of a dark side. I guess you could say that she's savage. Like, Savage X Fenty. Enough? All right. It seems like on a few occasions, she's been quite mean to her fans. She's no stranger to shoving a phone out of her face when approached by a fan, and she's been known to yell at paparazzi and fans when they get a little too close for comfort. On some more unpleasant occasions, she's been filmed smacking a fan on the head with a microphone. During one of her concerts in England in 2013, the singer whacked a fan with her mic because they had reached their hand out to her. Look at that. And in another savage incident, Rihanna mocked a 16 year old fan online for having recreated one of her red carpet looks for prom, where she called her out on Twitter and made fun of her look, calling it expectation versus reality, and posting a side by side comparison. Not the nicest person in the industry, that's for sure. At number 9, Ezra Miller. This one was a little shocking, but it turns out that Ezra Miller might not be as nice of a guy as we think. You may have seen in the intro a video of Ezra Miller choking and slamming a woman to the ground. This video, when it first hit the internet, was thought to have been a joke, but it really wasn't. This happened during an altercation at a bar in Iceland when a group of fans approached the actor and things got out of hand. Bystanders of the incident described the group as being very pushy, and it seemed like this was what triggered Ezra violent reaction. Things escalated and he lost his temper, leading to the physical altercation. Some say that alcohol may have contributed to the incident, but the bottom line is that Ezra's outburst was not cute and it really surprised a lot of fans. Just before I continue on with the video, I'd like to ask you guys to maybe consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. We love getting your positive feedback and your likes really help us out too, so please go ahead and show us some love by smashing that like button. At number 8, Jennifer Lopez. This probably doesn't come as a shock to many, but it turns out that JLo isn't a very nice person. Some say that she's a real diva and others say that she's just rude. Apparently the singer slash actress is very picky about who may or may not speak to her and for those permitted to address her, they're not allowed to make eye contact with her. There are even reports that she sometimes flat out refuses to comply with scripts. This has happened on a few occasions, most notably during a filming for a Fiat commercial where they needed to hire a double for Jennifer simply because she just didn't want to do certain things for the shoot. She doesn't have a good reputation with a lot of people she's worked with either. She is said to have completely ignored the people who were remodeling her house, she's gotten a cleaning lady fired for having asked for an autograph and she even refuses to talk to in-flight staff and pilots on flights and instructs her assistant to talk to them for her. And even though her staff do so much for her, including communicating for her, they don't get paid very much for their time. JLo just gives off bad vibes, so I think maybe it's best to stay clear of her whenever possible. At number 7, Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire might look like the fun and lovable Peter Parker on screen, but unfortunately, that's far from who he really is. Turns out that Tobey is really just a Hollywood jerk and fame really just drove him to being that way. He started off as a pretty humble guy, but after the Spider-Man films brought him so much fame and success, it consumed him. Towards the end of his Spider-Man days, Toby had something of an attitude problem where we saw him harassing people at a poker game, even going so far as to tell a woman to bark like a seal for $1,000. He also racked up a hefty production cost for the third Sam Raimi Spider-Man film because he needed doctors on site at all times to deal with his bad back and he was only able to walk a certain amount of steps in a scene before needing to quit. Those who worked with him often called his attitude inappropriate and he's really just been bad mouthed by a lot of people he's worked with over the years so he really doesn't seem like that much of a nice guy. At number 6, Ellen DeGeneres. I think this one's a little obvious because it's Ellen. We've done a lot of videos on Ellen. Ellen has been exposed as one of the meanest people in Hollywood. Even though she was all about kindness and spreading good vibes on her show, it seems like Ellen's angel persona on TV was quite the opposite in real life. Many staff members as well as other people who have been on the show with her and have worked with her in the past have started coming forward to talk about Ellen's mean streak in Hollywood. It turns out that there are 
some workplace horrors afoot over on the Ellen Show set, with people claiming that you're not allowed to look Ellen in the eye, and those who approach her are often spoken to rudely or even face racial biases. Also, there seems to be some kind of drama with the toilets on set. I guess people's butts are very prestigious or something. There have been reports of Ellen getting people in trouble for having chipped nail polish, for giving away fan mail, and apparently there's a rumor that Ellen picks one member of staff to be mean to every day. Lovely person, isn't she? Halfway through at number 5, Christian Bale. Christian Bale's temper is really something to behold. I really wanted to include a clip of one of his outbursts, but there was so much swearing that no one has time to bleep all of that. After his outburst on set from crew members upsetting him to fans getting him riled up, Hollywood has begun to paint the actor as someone with serious anger issues. In one instance, according to Christian's former assistant, he once wanted to kill a fan. Fans seem to really upset the actor on multiple occasions, so apparently once Christian received a fan letter at home, he said that the fan should be eliminated. He described wanting to thrust a screwdriver through the fan's eye and into their brain to the part that prevents screaming. I'll let that one sit there for a second. On another occasion, Christian went on a four minute swear word ridden tirade where he really chewed out a crew member from the set of Terminator Salvation. That one I have no quotes for because if I repeated any of those words, this video would be flagged and just, just trust me when I say Christian Bale is one mean SOB. At number four, Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle is another celebrity who's been exposed for her mean streak this year. Following a Twitter exposure from former Glee co star Samantha Ware, Leah has now been described as quote, callous, rude, mean, and even a diva. But Samantha's exposure of the Broadway star isn't the only testimony that has come forward recounting her mean streak. There have been stories of Leah's microaggressions, but also stories of her spitting in craft service food, refusing to work with people because they didn't know her middle name, requesting reshoots because she didn't like her costume, disrespecting other castmates, and having crew members apologize on her behalf, and just so many other frustrating tidbits that just really show how rude and entitled she's known to be. At number 3, Amber Heard. I couldn't make this mean celebrity list without including Amber. That's like watching a Marvel movie and leaving before the end credits. You just don't do that. I'm sure that we all know who Amber Heard is by now, and if not, where have you been? <laughs> Amber and Johnny have been the media's it story this past year and we've learned so much. If you've seen my recent video where I gave you the top 10 worst Amber Heard moments, then it's no surprise to you that she is a horrible person, but if not, let me recap some of her highlights. She's gotten into a fight with her sister, she's been recorded confessing to hitting Johnny Depp, she's pretended to have been a victim of a violent crime, she's smuggled her dogs into Australia, pretended not to have known about the laws there, and tried to get her assistant to commit perjury. She's responsible for Johnny's severed finger, and she's supposedly planted stories in the media to deliberately shift the focus from Johnny to her. Because of all of these things that have come out about the actress, there's just so many people from around the world who just really, really hate her. There have been petitions to have her removed from certain movies, and she's lost a lot of respect from fans and some Hollywood people as well. So yeah, she definitely belongs on this list. <laughs> At number 2, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal seems to be this super great guy who's given back to his community, donated to all these charities, and has done a lot of work to benefit a lot of people. I mean, the guy has a whole foundation in his name. So this one might be a little controversial, but this was news to me, so I thought I'd share it with the class. There was an incident in 2014 when Shaq mocked the appearance of a man named Jamal Binion. Jamal suffers from a rare genetic condition which has resulted in some facial deformities. It seems like Shaq saw a picture of him online and recreated the image himself, posing his face to look like that of Jamal. Well, he didn't think it was very funny, and even though Shaq apologized, it wasn't enough, and so he issued a lawsuit against the basketball star, as well as two other people who mocked his condition for $25,000 in damages. The lawsuit claimed that the image was shared to nearly 10 million people around the world, so this public mocking was grounds for seeking damages. Shaq may not be a mean guy all of the time, but this instance sure did open a lot of people's eyes to the NBA star's actions. And finally at number 1, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey isn't the nicest person ever. She's had run-ins with the paparazzi, which have not gone over well. She's had some bad relationships with others, and she's known to be something of a diva. But this? Oh, this takes the cake. There was a lawsuit from one of Mariah's former assistants, which claimed that the singer peed on her, 
ridiculed her body and then called her some pretty rude names. Her former assistant said that she was hired by the singer to be on call 24-7 and assisted both Mariah and her manager. Though she was paid a salary of $250,000 a year, this wage just couldn't cover up the alleged abuse sustained by Mariah. But her case wasn't the only one up against the singer at the time. While this case was being disputed, Mariah had just settled one with her former manager which cited breach of contract, harassment and unpaid wages. It seems like though she pays her people well, she doesn't treat them as well as she should. Now I've gotta know which celebrity shocked you the most out of this list. For me, I'm gonna have to say Shaq. I never heard of this lawsuit until I was researching for this video, so that was super surprising. At number 10, Charlize Theron. You wouldn't really think that Charlize Theron was a meanie, but perhaps she does have a dark side. In 2014, Charlize was accused of being less than friendly at a soul cycle class by fellow actress Tia Maori. It all started when Tia told tabloids of her unpleasant exchange with Charlize, where she said, quote, She wasn't very nice to me. I said hi, and she actually rolled her eyes and said, Oh my god, I wasn't over the top. I know how to approach another celebrity. Charlene was just mean. I'm just being honest. So obviously the tabloids had to look into this even more because an actress being mean is somehow a huge scoop and they found some tea to back up Tia's story. Turns out that on top of being a little catty, Charlize would also allegedly show up to class in a bad mood. And she has also apparently been known to demand that people who already set up their spot in class switch spots with her, therefore creating a disturbance in the class. Soul Cycle describes itself as being more than a class but a sanctuary, but it seems like Charlize is just famous for disturbing the peace. At number 9, Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon may seem like a nice person on screen, and in other aspects of light she really might be, but there's also a little bit of diva energy buried within, and we got to see a bit of that energy escape when she and her husband were arrested in 2013. The two of them were pulled over by an officer and Reese's husband was given a DUI charge, and in an effort to fight the charges, and I'm guessing to intimidate the arresting officer into letting them go, Reese pulled the do you know who I am card and sadly it didn't work. Her attempt at defending her husband resulted in the actress being arrested for disorderly conduct, but the news of her arrest wasn't the only thing to hit the media. The whole incident was caught on camera. But that's not the only incident people have against her. There are also some who say that she wears sunglasses all the time to make sure that no one makes eye contact with her. Others who work for her say that they're afraid of offending her or making her mad, so I'd hate to know what she's like behind closed doors, you know? Before I carry on with the list, I just want to chime in here and ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video. It really helps us out when we get your positive feedback. So please, if you are enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. At number eight, Gwyneth Paltrow. A lot of people seem to hate Gwyneth Paltrow for some reason. And though she's never really done anything horrible, I get a sense that she's so mean and so disliked in Hollywood because she comes off as pretty pretentious, egotistical, and privileged. People don't really see Gwyneth as the average person or someone that they can really relate to, which can rub people the wrong way. The Goop founder likes flaunting her wealth and materialistic things and makes it seem like it's something that everyone has or can afford. For example, her Goop must have lists of clothing pieces and other things, include things that cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. On top of that, she came from a wealthy family, so being someone who's always been rich, she doesn't really know how to humble herself. People also don't like how she comes across as self-centered, as she always seems to talk about herself and how fit she is and how great her lifestyle is. She also has a diva attitude and she's been known to slam Michelin star restaurants. And if you know what that means, then you know that she's got an attitude to do something like that. On top of that, she's been known to demand that someone clean and dry the shower at the gym after someone else has used it because she quote, can't touch someone else's shower water. At number seven, Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer is sort of a I don't care what people think of me kind of person, which can be a good thing sometimes because it allows you to carry yourself with confidence. However, it can also be a bad thing because it prevents you from thinking about how your actions might negatively impact others. An example of this comes from an incident in 2018 where Amy full on stole a comedian's stand up set. The story goes that there was an up and coming comedian who was doing one of his first long sets and obviously this was a really big deal for the guy until Amy ruined it. She walked into the venue and went to the manager to ask if she could steal 10 minutes of stage time because she wanted to practice her new set. Because the other comedian had just started, the manager said no, so Amy hit back with quote, but I'm Amy Schumer. Like that's gonna make a difference. After getting refusals left and right, she marched up on stage and took over his time for a few minutes. I know Amy is a big timer, but come on. You have to remember what it was like to be up and coming and that kind of behavior is just plain rude. At number six, 
Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz isn't the nicest person in Hollywood, especially in regards to her fans. She's pretty well known for biting the heads off her fans when they approach her looking for photos and autographs. When a fan approaches the actress in hopes of getting an autograph or photo, not only does she refuse them, but she also goes into full on mom mode and she'll lecture you about why autographs are stupid and why she won't do it. The overarching theme of what Cameron says during her rants at her fans, according to them, seems to be that she'll tell you that autographs were dumb and that if she made an exception for one person, then she'd have to make an exception for everyone. Though in a way she does have a point about making exceptions for people, she doesn't have to do it in such a mean way. Halfway through at number 5, Mike Myers. Mike Myers isn't really doing much in Hollywood these days and I think I might know why. It's because he's so mean. There have been a number of horror stories to come out about the actor which sort of paints him as both a diva and just a really mean person in general. Some of the things that have come out about the actor include rumors that when he's on set, he has someone following him around all day feeding him chocolates from a Tupperware container at the same time as ordering other people around and micromanaging the production. And as if that's bad enough, he's also reportedly gotten an actor fired off set for only having made eye contact with Mike. That is some seriously mean and toxic behavior. On top of that, he's allegedly refused to sign autographs for a toy company who made toys based on his characters, and even though he demanded that this company ship him his merchandise as soon as it was ready, he then refused to pay for them. People also describe him as a narcissist and controlling, so no wonder no one wants to work with him anymore. At number 4, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is actually one of the few celebrities who's actually admitted to being mean and being mean on purpose. Yeah, some other celebs might be intentionally mean to intimidate people, but Jennifer Lawrence has actually admitted to being mean as a way to defend herself. Being a Hollywood A-lister must be tough, so you have to find a way to navigate through that, so I'm guessing that being rude works for Jennifer. The actress has said that she is intentionally mean to her fans in an effort to get them to leave her alone. Though I guess it's a good idea in theory to make yourself unapproachable, it might also lead you to losing all of your fans in general. Jennifer really rose to fame through the Hunger Games films, and at the time she would have had a younger fan base, so being mean to these kids was probably taking things a little bit too far. There's really no reason to be afraid of preteens, unless they're on TikTok. At number three, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts seems like a nice person. She's always cast as nice and endearing characters, but there's so much more to Julia than meets the eye. Apparently, she's a nightmare to work with, other than having been part of some messy relationships and having been dubbed as a homewrecker at one point, Julia's bad attitude doesn't just take place off set. In 1991, on the set of the Spielberg film Hook, a Peter Pan film, Julia earned the nickname Tinker Hell as a play on her character Tinkerbell combined with the production's perception of the actress. Apparently during filming she would show up to the set late all the time and she would lock herself in her trailer for hours on end. She would also treat people badly and she would never apologize for her actions or behavior. Tinkerbell might be cute and nice but Julia Roberts certainly is not. At number two, Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri, although loved by many, is actually the number one most hated celebrity chef. You might be asking yourself why? He's not that bad. Well, my friend, you'd be surprised. Turns out that though Guy is a fun-loving dude on camera, he's actually pretty mean in real life. He's got a pretty big ego, he's made some pretty offensive jokes, and he's not a very nice guy when it comes to women. He's also been accused of being anti-Semitic and anti-gay. People said that he is full of himself and controlled by fame, he makes sexist jokes, and is always caught staring at women's breasts, so much to the point that editors for his show have to cut out those moments. That's a lot. He's also refused to work with or even talk to anyone from the gay community and apparently you have to give him forewarning before he does. And people also hate him because he makes a mockery of the culinary arts, calling himself a chef when he doesn't even have any culinary training. At number one, James Corden. James Corden has brought us carpool karaoke, laughs on his show, and entertainment in his other productions. For such a happy and fun guy, there's no way that he could be a total jerk. Wrong again. Turns out he's actually pretty mean and that this persona that you see on TV is all an elaborate ruse. In reality, James is arrogant, rude, and kind of a diva. There are a bunch of stories that paint James as a mean person. Firstly, he was part of a group of people who advocated for paying late night writers less money. Yes, you heard that right. He's also been known to use the do you know who I am line quite a number of times, and he's even reportedly told someone that he could buy them if they didn't do what he wanted. There have been incidents of fans catching James being mean to his wife and letting his temper get the best of him at times. A lot of people say that he only acts nice in order to butt kiss his way to the top and he doesn't care who he takes down in the process. I only have one word for him. Toxic. At number 10, Rachel Ray. 
Rachel Ray may seem like a happy, fun, and helpful person on TV, but it seems like that's not exactly true. She might seem wholesome while teaching you how to make a casserole, but deep down she's got a dark side. There are a few unpleasant things about Rachel that people have caught on to, including things like being a lousy tipper at restaurants, having allegedly cheated on her husband, and being rude on set. But she's also been accused of more harsh things like making racial remarks about Oprah, the very woman who gave her her start. On top of that, she's also talked badly behind the backs of a lot of celebrities, calling them some pretty mean names that I can't repeat on YouTube. And she's also faced lawsuits for her dog food brand containing toxic substances, so not only is she mean to people, but she's mean to dogs too. At number 9, Jared Leto. If you ask the internet what they think about Jared Leto, a surprising amount of people say that he's kind of a jerk. I even found a list that someone made of all of the reasons that make Jared Leto a bad person, and since this individual, along with a number of others don't like him, I thought I'd include him on this list to get your take on this. Some of the reasons listed as to why Jared sucks so much include the fact that he's been caught being mean to fans, and he's offended the trans community after winning an Oscar for his performance in Dallas Buyers Club, and not mentioning the trans community in his speech, as well as undermining the struggles of the trans community after joking about his appearance in character. Jared has also admitted to lying during interviews whenever possible, and people found his joker antics on the set of Suicide Squad to be a little mean because of the pranks that he would play on people as well as the gifts that he would send to the cast and crew. I know a lot of his fans say that he's good and a genuine guy, but some of his actions say otherwise. What do you guys think? If you guys liked the video so far, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video. Your feedback is really helpful and it helps our channel grow, so go ahead and smash that like button. At number 8, Kanye West. Kanye West isn't the nicest guy out there, I think we all know that. I mean, he's not the worst person, but he also has a knack for offending people. Whether it's on stage or on Twitter, I'm sure we've seen Kanye West be pretty mean and offensive on multiple occasions. Let me highlight a few of his worst moments. Remember the VMA incident where he stole Taylor Swift's spotlight after winning her award? Not nice. How about his claim that slavery was a choice, undermining the struggle of so many black lives lost and abused by enslavement? People also think Kanye is mean because he tries to control what his wife Kim wears, trying to manipulate her style but also forcing her to cover up and not show as much skin. We also have to mention his tweets as well. He's very outspoken online and has a tendency to offend people people a lot. From his claims about Bill Cosby being an innocent man following his allegations, as well as his tweets bashing his own family members, Kanye does not hold back. Some people believe that Kanye is mean because he thinks that he's better than everyone else and doesn't have to worry about other people's feelings as well. At number 7, Bill Murray. Bill Murray has a bad reputation in Hollywood for his poor behavior on set, so it's no surprise to me to find out that he's actually bullied one of his castmates on the set of Charlie's Angels. While filming the movie, Bill Murray was said to have antagonized actors actress Lucy Liu. When watching the film, you'd think that they were all good friends and on good terms, but that's quite the opposite. In reality, it was a sort of hostile work environment that caused Bill to take on a dislike towards Lucy. Turns out, Bill would insult Lucy's talent and acting ability, and on one occasion even said, quote, I get why you're here, you've got talent, but what in the hell are you doing here, you can't act. Apparently, the harassment and bullying got so bad at one point that Lucy tried throwing punches at Bill during one scene because his insults got so bad. This antagonizing went on for the entire duration of production and Bill kept on berating Lucy about her presence on set and calling her unprofessional as well. Bill Murray is one mean guy. I mean, he's admitted to being mean, but man, he's got some seriously bad vibes. At number 6, Katherine Heigl. A lot of people don't like Katherine Heigl because of how rude she is. She's been known to be mean to people on set, have high demands, and just has a really bad attitude. She's known to be quite critical of her roles and the material that she's given to work with, and even said that this is why she withdrew from Emmy nominations because she said that the material that she was given for Grey's Anatomy didn't warrant an Emmy. That's certainly disrespectful to the writers because for someone to say something like that implies that the writing wasn't good enough to please people, whereas the people at the Emmys thought that it was worth the award. And on top of that, winning this kind of award looks good for the team, but Catherine obviously didn't think of that and she only thought about herself. Talk about a bad attitude. Catherine is also known to make ridiculously high salary demands, and she apparently has been doing this since before she became a big name in the industry. She's reportedly hired and fired a lot of publicists and assistants over the years, so she sounds like quite the diva. Because of all this, directors and Hollywood execs don't want to work with her anymore, and I can't really say I blame them. At number 5, Michael Phelps. 
Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps is often called the best swimmer of all time, but it seems like his aquatic skills are really all he's got going for him since he's apparently got a bad attitude. He's done some pretty bad stuff in his life, so people don't think too highly of him. Back in 2014, he was arrested for driving under the influence, and speaking of that influence, Phelps has also been caught with drugs before. This isn't good for his image because being an Olympian, people have a lot of eyes on you. Phelps was reprimanded for his drunk driving and was suspended from swimming for six months, but other than that, the scandal was pretty much kept under wraps. On top of this swimmer being a felon, he's also known to not be a team player. Apparently, he hides himself away from his other teammates when at competitions like the Olympics. You would think that being at something like the Olympics, you'd want to soak up all of that team spirit, but no. Michael wants nothing to do with his team and instead flies solo. Kind of a bad attitude if you ask me. At number 4, Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel plays fun, bubbly, and happy characters in TV and in films, but her real personality is far from nice. Turns out that Zoe is actually pretty mean in real life. Her biggest thing is brushing off or being mean to her fans. According to one fan on Reddit, she allows some fans to talk to her but only for a brief amount of time, if that. And she doesn't do pictures or autographs and she'll just walk away from you if she wants to. People who have worked with the actress have also said that she's got a bad attitude on set and that she's pretty stuck up and has a big ego. Others say that she demands a lot, throws tantrums about literally anything and has a reputation for delaying shoots but will go off on anyone else who makes demands or delays shoots. Double standards here. Basically, she's got a bad attitude, and that's one of the reasons why she doesn't get cast much anymore, because no one wants to work with her. At number three, Ariana Grande. I honestly thought that Ariana Grande was a really nice person. She's pretty soft-spoken and seems like she's really kind, but according to people who've worked with or interacted with the singer, it's not exactly true. She's apparently so bad that even her life coach quit on her, so you know something's up. Apparently, Ariana makes some high demands, from the positioning of lighting to being in the right position when people come to see her or take photos with her. She's also gotten backlash for her attitude from people she's worked with in the past like Victoria Justice and Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette has called Ariana a leech and a drama queen and Victoria has accused Ariana of bullying her on set. Ariana was also involved in that donut licking incident which painted her as a disrespectful person and she's been accused of using her relationships to further her career along with being involved in some cheating scandals on two accounts. One while with Jay Brooks and another when she was with Mac Miller. The bottom line with Ariana is that she's not the nice girl she pretends to be. At number two, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks is not all she's cracked up to be. She claims to be someone who's inclusive in the modeling industry, and she claims that she's kind and fair to everyone, but that is so far from the truth. She even tried framing Naomi Campbell as the industry's mean girl, but after Naomi responded to those allegations thrown her way, people started realizing that it was Tyra who was the tyrant all along. Other than throwing shade at Naomi, we've also come to realize some of the other horrible things that she's done. For example, while on America's Next Top Model, she made the contestants change their appearances all the time. Though Tyra claims that she's about being unique, she sure does like changing these girls' looks. On top of that, she also forced contestants to wear blackface and other racially insensitive makeup and clothing. Though she claimed that it was to show off and express other cultures, she totally went about that in an offensive and mean way. And Tyra even shamed people for the way they expressed themselves, as well as some contestants' sexuality. So many former contestants of the show have said how horrible Tyra is to work with, and if you see Tyra's outbursts on TV, I think that's already proof enough as to how mean she can be. At number one, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is one of the best basketball players of all time. The guy is a legend, but it seems as though Michael isn't all sunshine and rainbows off the court. When in the game, he's dazzling the crowd and winning games, but in real life, outside of sports, he's actually kind of a jerk. Many fans have said that he isn't the nicest celebrity out there because he can be very dismissive and rude to his fans, denying them photos or autographs. He's also been kicked out of a country club for being rude to other guests, and he's also been known to be quite mean to other athletes. For example, he once punched Steve Kerr in the face over a disagreement that they had. On top of that, Jordan bullied Bill Carwhite because he was salty that the team brought him on, and he's also been known to call other players really mean names and threaten them as well. I think he did all that stuff to intimidate these other players so that he could remain on top, but it's still quite rude of him to treat others this way. One more example that shows how mean this guy is, he tried cheating an old lady out of a game of cards. Who 
Who does that? Not cool, man. At number 10, Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball was a star. Super talented, a trailblazer for women in comedy, and someone who seemed to have a bright and fun personality. But according to some people who worked with her or had met the Hollywood star, Lucille wasn't all that nice to everyone she met. Some fans reported having unpleasant encounters with her, saying that she could be quite rude at times, and some celebs at the time had said things like that as well. Apparently, shows were a little apprehensive about booking Lucille because she could be mean to other guests and staff, and they just didn't want to deal with the drama. Others who worked alongside the actress revealed that she didn't like interacting with the help and got a reputation amongst flight attendants for being mean and refusing to speak to them when they would ask for her drink order or other things that she might need, and directed them to talk to her assistant instead. She would also refuse to talk to anyone she considered lower than she was in the entertainment industry. She was still a star, but maybe not so much in the eyes of those she worked with. At number 9, Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know about you guys, but when I noticed that a lot of people think that Jerry Seinfeld is mean, I was a little shocked. I mean, I don't know much about the guy, but I just didn't peg him as being the mean type. Most people don't like him because his humor goes a little too far, which I can totally understand. Some examples of crude humor from his show, Comedians in the Car Getting Coffee, include jokes about Harvey Weinstein and poking fun at the Me Too movement, as well as joking about assault and using words like gay in a derogatory manner. Also, he apparently doesn't like young people. According to sources, Jerry has refused to speak at colleges because he says students these days are too sensitive. What are your opinions on Jerry? Like I said, I don't know much about him apart from the B movie, so what are your thoughts? Is his humor too crude, or are there other reasons you may or may not like him? If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like on this video. We love seeing you guys supporting the channel, and it really helps us out. At number 8, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is known for being in National Lampoon and the show community, but is also known around Hollywood as being kind of a jerk. There are a bunch of articles and books and interviews of people talking about their experiences with the actor and how mean he can be. There are even stories in the book Live from New York that detail the times that Chase has been mean to staff, writers, interns, and other hosts. Will Ferrell and Bill Murray are among those who don't like Chase because of the way he's treated others. Will Ferrell has said that he doesn't like Chevy because of the way he treats some female staff members. But it's not just the people on set that have been disrespected by the actor. Fans have also had horrible experiences with him. There was reportedly one incident where Chevy called a server at a restaurant a gay slur because his usual table wasn't ready, and there was another unpleasant fan encounter where one of his supporters went to greet the actor backstage at a theater, and he got slapped in the face. I think you'd want to stay away from this guy because he doesn't sound very friendly. At number 7, Taylor Swift. A lot of people don't like Taylor Swift because of her attitude. She's really talented and has a lot of success in the industry, but some people have said that her attitude has rubbed them the wrong way. Taylor has been seen feuding with a lot of women in the industry, even though she preaches about spreading positivity and feminism. On top of that, the fact that she writes so many songs about her exes make people see her negatively because these relationships may not deserve to be exposed in the way that she does. In the past, Taylor has also faced cultural appropriation scandals because of her music video for the song Shake It Off. And to dig deeper, some people have also discovered that Taylor used to be a bully in high school. Basically, some people say that her quirky girl next door sort of look is all fake and that she's really just a bully. But what do you guys think? At number six, Pierce Brosnan. During an episode of the Late Late Show in 2017, James Corden spilled the tea on the rudest celebrity he's ever met, and it took some people by surprise. During a segment of Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts, guest Khloe Kardashian asked James about his worst experience with a celebrity, and James did not hold back. He told viewers about a run in that he had with the actor at a concert while with his wife. James said, quote, I went to see you two, and Pierce Brosnan was with some friends here, and they left halfway through the gig to go off. So me and my wife moved into this area. And literally this arm went on here and just pushed me out of the way. I looked at him like that and he didn't even glance at me." End quote. So basically, Pierce left his section for a bit and James moved in, but when Pierce got back, he shoved James out of the way. I mean, he could have just been a little nicer about it. I don't know, like tapping him on the shoulder and saying, excuse me. I never thought of Pierce Brosnan as a mean person, but James' story may have changed my mind. At number five, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera has the voice of a goddess, but that doesn't mean that she is one. Turns out she has a bad side and a few people have experienced it. Other than being shady at Lady Gaga during their 2008 feud where she called her some unpleasant names and said quote, I'm not quite sure who this person is to be honest, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, and she's had some other rude encounters. When working on set of her various gigs, she's reportedly always late and holds up production and has never apologized for delaying production. She also reportedly had some beef with Adam Levine while working on The Voice and they would bicker 
maker constantly. Christina is also known as a diva and working for her seems to be a nightmare because sources say that she's very rude and demanding of her household staff and treats her staff poorly, insisting that they're on call 24-7. Christina has also had feuds with Pink and Mariah Carey and even got mad at Mickey Mouse once. Yeah. She got into a heated argument with Mickey Mouse when at Disneyland in 2014 for her birthday. She wanted to take a picture with the mouse, but he was going on break, and so instead of being an understanding person, she pulled the Do You Know Who I Am card. Not very nice. At number four, Gene Simmons. Musician Gene Simmons is known for his performances and music, not so much for being a nice guy. Though people may like him for the music that he creates, you may feel differently about him after learning how mean he really is. Gene has been called a misogynist because of some of the things that he said to and about women. One example of him being offensive towards women comes from an interview he did for NPR where he was talking about how money is important to him, saying, quote, I don't know what other tool I would use besides money to buy it. Although as a woman, of course you have the ability to sell your body, then get the money, and then with that, get food." End quote. Not a nice way to think of women at all. Gene has also said some creepy and disgusting things about women he's slept with and women in general, calling them names and saying derogatory things, and has also made a number of racist remarks. He's made horrible remarks about many different cultures and races, and has even included some disrespectful language in some songs. I'd recommend not getting too close to this one either. At number three, Adam Levine. Well, we talked about Christina Aguilera, so Next up on the voice cast list is Adam Levine, and boy, is there some tea. Though Adam has cleaned up his act a bit in recent years after settling down, there was a time that he was not a nice guy. In the past, Adam has trash talked a lot of his exes, making for some pretty toxic energy. And of course, we have to mention his feuding with Christina Aguilera. He's also had beefs with Lady Gaga and Miley Cyrus just because he was very nitpicky about their music for no reason, really. And he's also been in several arguments with other voice co stars as well. Adam has also been accused of being a homewrecker because he had an alleged affair with Jessica Simpson, and he's also given some inappropriate details about his love life that I'm sure his partner would have liked to have been kept secret. But I think the thing that tops this all off is the fact that Adam has said in the past that he quote, didn't give autographs to ugly chicks. Two words, toxic energy. At number two, Sandra Bullock. I don't know about you, but to me, when I think about Sandra Bullock, I think of a wholesome soccer mom. Like the type of person that would comfort you, but give you some tough love. Well, after learning about how mean Sandra really is, I don't think I'll be looking at her the same way again. A fan had a very unpleasant run in with the actress and she totally blew up in his face. The story goes that a woman and her husband were out for a walk in the park when they recognized Sandra in the area. She was on a break from filming The Heat and so the couple approached Sandra and asked for an autograph. The husband was a big fan of hers and he was a wheelchair bound veteran, so they thought that she might take a moment for them, but sadly that wasn't the case. Instead, she started screaming at him and sort of had a meltdown. Later on, the couple said that they understand that celebrities might not like being hounded by paparazzi and fans, but they thought that maybe she'd make an exception for them. Even still, a simple no would have done the trick. There was no reason to yell. At number one, John Mayer. John Mayer is not as nice as you may have thought. Though his songs sound beautiful and his lyrics might move you, he isn't the man you thought he was. Turns out, he's a jerk. He's spoken poorly about a lot of women he's dated, including Jessica Simpson and Jennifer Aniston, both of whom still hold grudges to this day, and he's said some pretty nasty things about women in general, making sexually charged comments, and even going so far as to say that he only finds white women attractive and literally no one else. Speaking of race, John has also used a lot of racial slurs in the past, saying the n-word with the hard r on a few occasions, and never having apologized for his actions. So next time you hear one of his songs on the radio, think about the person he really is deep down and then change the station. You do not need that negativity in your life. At number 10, Catherine Zeta-Jones. According to people who've worked with or lived near, actress Catherine Zeta-Jones is one of those celebrities you do not want to run into. People have had some less than kind reviews about their encounters with the actress and it's surprising. Apparently, Catherine has a very entitled attitude, expecting to be catered to her every whim and refuses to tip you for your assistance. One person even shared a story about how she was living in a condo when visiting a different city and demanded that the other tenants be banned from using the facility's gym while she was there. As one would expect, this request did not go over well with the rest of the tenants. She also has a reputation of being harsh and cold with fans. Once when an eight year old fan of hers approached her saying that she wanted to become an actress just like Catherine, the actress reportedly just looked the girl up and down and told her quote, you're pretty enough I suppose, and then just walked away. Clearly Catherine has some things to learn about being nice to others. At number nine, Russell Crowe. Actor Russell Crowe is able to command an audience while performing and captivate them with his talent, but that's 
seems to be about the extent of his pleasant connection with others since he's reportedly a very mean person. There have been a number of reports detailing his violent outbursts from yelling at people like fans and co-workers to fighting with his bodyguards. At one point he was even rude to a large group of people while on an Irish talk show where he was performing a Johnny Cash song. The audience tried clapping along to the song but couldn't keep in time and this made Russell mad and he told them to shut up. Russell has also had a violent outburst with hotel staff in 2005 where he threw a phone at one of its employees, resulting in him getting charged with felony assault. And to top it all off, he even had some harsh words for his fellow actors, calling George Clooney, Harrison Ford, and Robert De Niro sellouts. Before I continue on with the video, I just want to let you guys know that we have a brand new gaming channel launching January 22nd. Viper Girl, aka me, will be streaming everything from Minecraft to FNAF to Cyberpunk and more. Check this promo out and go subscribe after this. I promise you will not regret it. Oh my gosh, I almost died. I almost died. I thought you were a cactus, my friend. I thought you were a cactus. We've got iron, baby. Yes. Okay, my main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Bro. Ah. No, I'm gonna fight you with a pork chop. No, come here, come here. This is awesome. At number eight, John Hamm. Some have pointed out that John Hamm's Mad Men character, Don Draper, is played a little bit too well. The mean and arrogant character seems to share a number of similarities to John's own personality, according to some, which sort of makes the two of them mold into one uber mean guy. According to Kathy Griffin, of all people, John Hamm is a rude guy and she exposed him in her book, Celebrity Run-Ins My A to Z Index. In her book, Kathy recounts her unpleasant encounter with John at a dinner party. John apparently questioned why Kathy was at the event in the first place, and then later on he approached her again, clearly intoxicated, while she was talking to Jack Nicholson and whispered in her ear saying, quote, you know your Emmy isn't a real Emmy and you're so old. That's exactly how it was spelled. Old. Yeah, sure he's in the Skip the Dishes commercial, but frankly, I'd like to skip him. At number seven, Carrie Underwood. This one was a little surprising to me, but according to those who've encountered Carrie Underwood, she's not as nice as you'd think. Apparently, Carrie is sometimes known to be quite rude and arrogant. Carrie is reportedly rude to other celebrities and often snaps at them, expecting utter perfection or nothing at all. She once told Leighton Meester to quote, get out there and not F it up at an award show. And when someone spoke up about that kind of attitude, Carrie just replied saying quote, she'll get over it. Carrie has also admitted to being less than hospitable towards fans and even being selfish and closed off around them. There have even been reports of Carrie being a song stealer. A singer-songwriter sued Carrie, the NFL, and NBC for having allegedly stolen a song that she had written in 2016, saying that they plagiarized it and were using it to introduce Sunday Night Football. The suit was later dropped, but it still left people wondering if that's all she's allegedly stolen. At number six, Ben Stiller. Though many people know him as this super funny guy, behind closed doors, it seems as though he's quite the opposite. People who know or have worked with Ben in the past have exposed some of his mean behavior and it's pretty shocking. According to those who worked with him on the set of Tropic Thunder, he was very controlling and mean to just about everyone. He reportedly had a meltdown on set when his Diet Coke didn't have exactly two ice cubes in it and he even had someone fired because they didn't put enough sugar in his coffee. Ben even forced his assistant to stand out in the parking lot in his designated parking space even though it already had a sign saying that it was reserved. Ben also freaked out on a female assistant that he had and refused to come back to set until she was replaced by a male assistant. Being an assistant to the stars can often pay well, but I don't think you could ever pay me enough to endure Ben Stiller's treatment of others. At number five, Vanessa Hudgens. When you think about Vanessa Hudgens, most people would picture her in High School Musical. For years, she carried around that Disney vibe, but after learning about her dark side, you may change your thoughts about her. Basically, Vanessa often and lets her jealousy get the best of her, and oftentimes this leads to people getting their feelings hurt. Take, for example, this one time when a fan approached Vanessa's ex, Zach Efron. The couple were out shopping at a department store when a young fan went up to Zach to tell him how much she loved him. She was apparently super nervous and stumbling over her words, and so instead of being an understanding and respectful person, Vanessa instead started making fun of the young fan. She started laughing at the poor girl and humiliated her in front of her celebrity crush. The other shoppers were shocked at Vanessa's behavior, but this apparently wasn't a new thing since Vanessa had reportedly told sources that she found fans to be obnoxious. Fans aren't the only ones to feel her wrath either, and she was rumored to have bullied Selena Gomez as well, 
on a few occasions. At number four, Cuba Gooding Jr. There is a lot that could be said about Cuba Gooding Jr. Firstly, it looks as though Cuba has quite a short temper. Once at a bar in New Orleans, some fans approached him asking for a photo, and instead of politely declining, he started yelling and swearing at those who asked for anything from him. Naturally, this caused a scene, but when the bartender asked him to leave, he responded by shoving her against a wall. Yeah. Lovely. This isn't the only time he's laid his hands on a woman though, because along with a bad temper, Cuba also has a record of having inappropriate or unwanted actions with women. His alleged victims have come forward accusing the actor of things from unwanted touching, to making inappropriate remarks, and creating uncomfortable environments by displaying unwanted flirtatious advances. Cuba has actually faced a number of lawsuits regarding his inappropriate behavior around women, and a number of women have come forward to share their unwanted encounters with him. Obviously, I can't go into detail about the things he's been accused of for YouTube reasons, but if you really want to know, it's on the internet for you to read. Bottom line, this guy is not nice at all. At number three, Alec Baldwin. Actor Alec Baldwin is yet another celebrity who's rubbed people in the wrong way because of his short temper. He's gotten in trouble over the years for being verbally and physically aggressive, which caused him to have a mean streak in Hollywood. One of his earliest scandals happened in 1995, where he was placed under a citizen's arrest after punching a cameraman in the face, breaking his nose. The altercation happened because a photographer was trying to take a picture of his new daughter, so I guess his parental instincts just got the best of him. But if this aggression was just a one-off, that would be one thing, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, this isn't the case with Alec. Later on in 2007, he was in the news again for berating his daughter on the phone, calling her a selfish little pig, among other harsh things, after he got frustrated that she didn't pick up his calls. And he was kicked off of an American Airlines flight in 2011 after being aggressive after he was told to turn his phone off on the plane. There are a number of other stories of Alec getting aggressive, so I think it's safe to say that he's got a mean streak. At number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan had her Hollywood fall from grace, and even though we still talk about her, she doesn't hold the same notoriety as she once did. There are a lot of factors that play into that, but one of those being her reputation of rubbing people the wrong way. There are people who say that she's entitled because she gained fame at such a young age, so she expects everyone to bow down to her in a way. She's also been called a liar after lying to police on multiple occasions, and Paris Hilton even called her a pathological liar after Lindsay claimed to have handled Whitney Houston's body bag while volunteering at a morgue. On top of that, she's apparently a nightmare to work with because she damages sets and steals props and has reputation for holding up production. She's known to berate her assistants for the littlest things and she's known to manipulate people into getting her own way. There are a number of people who have horror stories about Lindsay making her out to be less than kind. At number one, Shia LaBeouf. There is a lot to talk about when it comes to Shia LaBeouf. He is definitely a mean person because of the things that he's been accused of, including including abuse, racism, and ableism. Shia was criticized for his behavior at the 2020 Oscars because he was being impatient with his co-presenter Zach Gottsagen. Zach became the first person with Down syndrome to present at the Academy Awards, and Shia was seen getting tense and rushing Zach along with his presentation, which was seen as offensive and ableist. On top of that, Shia has been accused of racism after footage showed him going on a racist rant towards a black police officer when he was arrested in 2017. And most recently, Shia has been facing backlash for allegedly abusing his ex-girlfriend FKA Twigs as she filed a lawsuit against him detailing some of the things that she endured while with him. Shia has a history of hurting others in many different ways, but the bottom line is that he's just not a nice guy. At number 10, Kim Kardashian. Kim K is definitely no stranger to scandal. It seems like every few weeks she's in the news about something and her fans, haters, and news sources alike are talking about her latest scandal, either defending or scrutinizing her for it. Though she's faced backlash for political drama and for taking vacations during the pandemic, one of her longest standing dramas is her cultural appropriation. Many of the things Kim posts or advertises gets called out for cultural appropriation. Back when she first launched her shapewear line Skins, she faced backlash for its original name being Kimono as it was seen as offensive to the Japanese community. She's also been called out for appropriating black culture as well because of the hairstyles that she's worn and for black fishing. Kim has been seen wearing cornrows and posing with darkened tans on multiple occasions, which has angered many people. She, as well as many other members of her family, have been called out for these kinds of actions. And the the fact that this keeps happening 
kind of says a lot about them. At number nine, Drake Bell. I think most people know about Drake Bell from his time on Nickelodeon, specifically for his role in the show Drake and Josh. Drake Bell was a big part of a lot of people's childhoods, but his past actions may surprise you. In August 2020, Drake was accused of mistreating his ex-girlfriend, Melissa Lingefeld, after she took to TikTok to make a video detailing her experiences with the actor. Melissa told fans on TikTok that during her relationship with Drake, which lasted from August 2006 to February 2009, she endured physical and verbal mistreatment from her partner. The pair started dating when Melissa was 16, and after a year of dating, she claimed that the quote, worst type of verbal mistreatment you could ever imagine began. She then detailed some of the physical mistreatment that she endured as well. She also brought to light some of the messages that suggested other inappropriate relationships that Drake has had in the past. Drake denied these allegations, but support and praise for telling her story was still given to Melissa regardless. Before I carry on with this list, I'd like to ask you guys to please consider leaving a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far. It really helps the channel out and we love seeing your support as well. At number eight, Bruce Willis. Actor Bruce Willis has had a great career making great movies and basking in fame, but it seems as though he's not all that great in real life. Though his films are often very successful, it all comes at a price that those who've worked alongside him have had to pay. Apparently, Bruce is a nightmare to work with as he's gotten into some conflicts with others on set and people just really hate working with him. Before Die Hard launched his film career, he was brought into stardom after working on the show Moonlighting alongside his co-star Sybil Shepard. In 2005, Shepard told sources that there came a point where her relationship with Bruce became volatile and they clashed a lot on set. There was reportedly constant bickering and it was just a toxic environment. But Sybil isn't the only one to have clashed with Bruce while working together. Filmmaker Kevin Smith has also had his troubles with working with Bruce while filming the 2010 film Cop Out. He told sources that though he said that Bruce was his hero in past productions, that opinion completely went out the window after saying that working with Bruce was very difficult. When talking about their time together on set, he turned out to be the unhappiest, most bitter, and meanest emo B word I have ever met at any job I've held down, and mind you, I've worked at Domino's Pizza. What an awful experience." End quote. Maybe Bruce just isn't all he's cracked up to be. At number seven, Jesse James. Jesse James is an American entrepreneur, TV personality, and Sandra Bullock's ex-husband. Jesse is known in the media for his extramarital affairs as he's known to have cheated on Sandra Bullock when they were together, and most recently we found out that he cheated on his now ex-wife Alexis DeJoria with at least 20 women. These DMs and other images expose Jesse for his affairs, but this isn't the first time that a photo has gotten him in trouble. The West Coast Chopper's founder was also accused of being someone who supports the ideals similar to those of the World War II German government in 2004 after a photo was leaked which showed him posing like the fascist German leader. I think you know what I'm talking about. Jesse clearly has problems respecting people on different fronts, and he definitely is not a nice person. At number six, Naomi Campbell. Supermodel Naomi Campbell has been in the fashion industry for over 30 years, and over this time, she's had her fair share of scandals and feuds, most notably her feud with fellow model Tyra Banks, who's painted Naomi as the industry's mean girl. So this feud has shown that Tyra is actually meaner than Naomi, and we've covered her mean streak in one of our other parts of this series, but that doesn't mean that Naomi is off the hook as she's known to have violent outbursts. Naomi has been accused of being violent on 11 occasions and has been convicted of assault four times. Some of the reported violent incidents include the model physically harming her assistant, grabbing her by the throat and beating her with a phone, harming another assistant and allegedly holding her hostage, throwing her phone at a housekeeper, and other accounts of emotional and physical distress. Naomi is known for having a temper and for getting into conflicts in the past, but still tries to make amends for those actions. At number five, Terrence Howard. Empire actor Terrence Howard has a reputation for being difficult. He was dropped by the Iron Man franchise over failed contract negotiations and for being difficult to work with on set, this is far from the only reason why he's on this list. Terrence also has reputation for harming women and others on many occasions. In 2000, the actor was arrested for assaulting a flight attendant, but those charges were later dropped. One year later, he was arrested again for getting into a heated argument with his ex-wife, which led to him driving to her house, kicking down the door, and physically harming her, to which he pleaded guilty. In 2005, he was involved in another violent encounter as he allegedly punched two people, and in 2010, less than a week after their wedding, Terrence began mistreating his wife, physically harming her, and threatening her life. Two years later, he was involved in another fight with one of his mistresses, where he physically assaulted her as well. 
Other than the fact that these violent incidents have happened so many times, the fact that he's also gone out of his way to blame these incidents on the victims on multiple occasions also says something about his attitude. At number four, Dan Schneider. If you watched Nickelodeon in the late 90s and early 2000s, you may be familiar with Dan Schneider. Schneider was the creator of hit shows like The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, and iCarly, and was a longtime partner with Nickelodeon, so it came as a surprise to many after it was announced that the company would be cutting ties with Dan and his production company. Being such an abrupt decision, many were left wondering what happened, and as a result, allegations of misconduct started to come to light. Since his departure from the company, allegations of mistreatment came out as well as allegations of manipulating actors and suggestive behavior as well. Though these allegations have been denied by Dan, some former stars have subtly advised fans to not support Dan or his past shows. Actress Alexa Nicholas, known for her role in Zoe 101, made a series of posts about Dan after allegations against him came out, where she told people to not watch his shows, saying that he is not a good guy. If there's one thing we know, it's that Hollywood is scarily good at brushing misconducts under the rug, so perhaps he is a monster, but for now, it's just unconfirmed. At number three, Neil deGrasse Tyson. You may know Neil deGrasse Tyson for being a Pluto hater or for his time on TV having guest spots on The Big Bang Theory and for hosting the show Cosmos, but after today, you may know him for being a bad guy. First off, let's talk about his tweeting habits. People know him for his obnoxious opinions on sci-fi movies as he likes to pick them apart for their scientific inaccuracies on Twitter, but he's also angered people for being insensitive. In 2019, after the US experienced a pair of mass shootings in Texas and Ohio, Tyson took to Twitter seemingly defending the gun violence, saying that more people have died from medical reasons or from accidents in those two days than from the shootings. He faced backlash for this tone-deaf tweet, but he's also faced backlash in the past for more serious issues. Other than his offensive tweets, he's also been accused of assault and harassment in the past. Three women have come forward to accuse a scientist of assaulting them, and one of these women claims that Neil gave her a substance and had non-consensual relations with her. Though he ended up writing this incident off as false memory. I was shocked to hear about Neil, and I'm sure I'm definitely not the only one who didn't know about this. At number two, Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff is seemingly one of the former Disney stars who was able to walk away from the company unscathed, for the most part, but over the years it seems as though she's traded her goody Disney image for a mean girl attitude. While her character Lizzie McGuire stood up to be mean, Hillary clearly did not keep that in mind when she put her neighbor on blast in 2018. The actress took to her Instagram to rant about her neighbor, talking about the noise and the smell that she's endured while living near them, but instead of keeping their name out of things, she put it out there multiple times. On several Instagram stories, Hillary posted her neighbor's first and last name as she continued to berate them and call them names. Doing this actually violated Instagram's community guidelines and some of the posts were taken down as a result. I mean, anybody can rant about whatever, as we've seen on the internet multiple times, but posting their name to millions of followers who are also able to find this person and berate them more is definitely going too far and definitely grants you a mean status. And finally at number one, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson is known for his alt metal music and unique style, but now he's also known as someone who hurts others. Actress Evan Rachel Wood came out to name the singer as the one who's hurt her, accusing him of manipulating and brainwashing her from a young age. The actress posted a testimony to her Instagram calling Manson as well as the industry up for his actions and for enabling him all this time. In the past, Evan Rachel Wood has spoken out about the fact that she was in a toxic relationship and has detailed some of the horrific things that she's experienced, but she's never named the one who mistreated her until now. In a published testimony, she said, quote, he broke me down through means of starvation, sleep deprivation, and threats against my life, sometimes with things which would result in me having severe panic attacks where I was unable to breathe or stop shaking. She also said that she had her phone tapped and had threats made against her loved ones. Other women have also come forward to detail their encounters with the singer and the things that they've experienced as well. Manson has since been dropped by his label and booking agent after these allegations came to light. In at number 10, David Letterman. Several old interview clips of David Letterman's have resurfaced in the last year, and many are saying that he crossed major lines. One example was with Lindsay Lohan in 2013. She did the interview recently out of rehab, and Letterman persistently asked her questions about it, even though she made it clear that she didn't want to be asked about it. However, he unfortunately kept pressing, leading her to cry. Next, he did an unfortunate interview with Janet Jackson. Letterman was pressing her about her infamous Super Bowl incident, asking her questions about how her wardrobe malfunction came to be. Right after she was asked about it, 
She replied, quote, I don't want to relive any of that. But Letterman kept asking, while Jackson looked like she wanted to be anywhere but there. This is literally the tip of the iceberg and there are so many more horrendous moments with women that took place on his show. And at number nine, Michael Jordan. Basketball legend Michael Jordan is the idol of many who love the sport. But there's apparently a very rude and entitled side of him that one golf caddy saw firsthand. Allegedly, this golf caddy was caddying for Jordan the whole day. And at the end of the long and I'm sure stressful day, all the other players tipped their caddies as that's the custom in golf. However, Michael Jordan did not tip his caddy and the caddy's first thought was that maybe Jordan was like unhappy with him and maybe he did a bad job for him. So he asked Jordan if everything was good and he allegedly responded, quote, what do you want, a tip? You should feel lucky to carry my clubs. And when rich people don't tip, it truly just ticks me off to a whole other level. Like the entitlement is just so crazy. And at number eight, Dove Cameron. Dove Cameron is a Disney star who is beloved by many for her kind personality. However, many fans were shocked to learn that she definitely has a mean side. One incident happened when a fan tweeted out saying how their goal in life was to have Dove notice her. And while that goal was achieved, but not in the way that she hoped. Dove ended up responding savagely to the fan, saying, quote, that's a very small and unimportant life goal. And maybe if I notice you, you'll realize how unfulfilling that is and turn your phone off because celebrities don't matter. Go find yourself in nature and create your own life philosophy. Aim higher, babe. And if you interpret what she's saying the way that Dove was probably intending, it can be implied here that Dove just wanted the fan to realize that being noticed by Dove, you know, wouldn't help her in life in any way and to stop putting so much meaning on it. But obviously the way Dove said it was really harsh and if I was the fan, I probably would have been heartbroken. And at number seven, Terry Hatcher. This one breaks my heart because I'm a huge fan of Desperate Housewives. I'm currently rewatching it right now. I'm on season eight, if anyone's wondering. But apparently on the set of the hit show, she was known as the mean girl and all the leading ladies got along except for her. One of her co-stars told the creator of Desperate Housewives that she was the quote, meanest woman in the world. She was not only a pain on the show, but on practically all of her projects. And she now has a reputation for a bad attitude. Back when she was filming Tomorrow Never Dies, co-star Pierce Brosnan called her out for never being on time. Luckily, she's a good enough actress that people put up with her bad attitude on set. In at number six, Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan has a reputation for being controversial and saying whatever's on his mind, regardless of the consequences. But this behavior has earned him a reputation of being mean, specifically towards Meghan Markle. And there's actually a dating story behind it that makes the whole thing even more juicy. Apparently the two went on a date and Meghan ghosted him afterwards, spawning his hatred of her. Most recently after Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, Piers did not hold back, trashing her on Good Morning Britain. Before him, the other host could even discuss the topic. He went on raging about how the interview is tarnishing the reputation of Britain around the world and hurting everything the Queen has worked so hard for. After the outrage from viewers, Piers decided to step down from the show. Halfway number five, Kiefer Sutherland. Apparently Sutherland had a lot in common with his 24 character, Jack Bauer, as both of them constantly got on the nerves of their colleagues. According to an interview with Freddie Prinze Jr., he claimed that Sutherland was very unprofessional and he hated working with him on 24. Prince Jr. said, quote, I did 24, it was terrible. I hated every moment of it. With him adding that Sutherland was the most unprofessional person that he ever worked with. And he felt so sternly about it, he would say it to his face if he ever confronted him about it. Another co-star also spoke about her disdain for Sutherland, saying that working with him was very hard because he's a very angry person angry with himself and others, which he took out on anyone who got in his way. And at number four, Patrick Dempsey. McDreamy was the lovable and kind hero in the hit show Grey's Anatomy, but his behavior when the cameras were not rolling was completely different. And apparently he was such a diva, he ended up being fired from the show. Shonda Rhimes, the show's creator, head writer, executive producer, and showrunner, announced that she adopted a quote, no a-holes policy, apparently after working with Dempsey. Allegedly, a big part of the reason that he was fired is because he was disrespectful to the crew of the show. When he was killed off the 15th season, fans were shocked, but those close to the show knew it was a long time coming. A source close to the situation told Radar Online that Rhymes had no choice but to fire Dempsey. Quote, he had been showing up late and was holding up production because he couldn't remember his lines. 
And at number three, Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber was called out by TikTok influencer Julia Caroline when Julia made a video series exposing celebrities that were rude to her while she was working as a hostess at a popular Manhattan restaurant. In the video, she commented on Kylie Jenner and the Hadid sisters, and when it came to Hailey Bieber, she rated her interactions with Hailey to be a 3.5 out of 10. Saying in the video, quote, this is gonna be controversial. I've met her a handful of times and she was not nice. I really wanted to like her, but I give her a like 3.5 out of 10, sorry. But most shockingly, Haley actually responded in the comments of the TikTok, apologizing for the situation. Responding in the comments that Haley was so sorry if she'd given Julia a bad vibe or attitude. It's hard to say if this was just a bad interaction or a pattern of behavior, but it's great to see that Haley apologized. And at number two, Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray is someone who I'm not too surprised to see on this list because from watching her show, I never really got the vibe that she was trying to be really nice. The celebrity chef is known for being pretty brutal and she doesn't have much of a filter when dealing with people. That's why negative interactions are pretty common with her. One encounter came from someone who was working in a mall while she was visiting for a book signing. Basically, they were both sitting there just waiting around and there was an awkward silence. And like a lot of other people would have done in that situation, he just decided to, you know, spark up some conversation, make some casual small talk and ask her how her day was going. And apparently without even looking up from her phone, she replied, quote, don't talk to me. Yikes. And finally at number one, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry is best known as the lovable Chandler from Friends, but his personality in real life is anything but. And sadly, an intern found that out the hard way. Apparently he showed up to the studio because he was on a press tour, but when Perry arrived, he threw a huge tantrum and refused to participate in the press tour. And apparently all that stress that was put on the people working there was because they didn't get him the sugar-free Red Bull that he requested. Even though he didn't want to do the interview, he was forced to because of a contract. But he made sure to do the absolute bare minimum, and he was terrible on camera. Then when he went to leave, he refused to use the car his publicist got him because it wasn't up to his standards, and he got his own car instead. And apparently after all that, his publicist was in tears. I don't blame her, I probably would be too. Starting us off at number 10, we have Mariah Carey. The singer is notorious for taking her title as pop diva, quite literally. From rumors about her bizarre dressing room requests to feuds with co-stars, Mariah has earned herself quite a reputation. When filming a cameo for the 2017 comedy, The House, she arrived to set four hours late with a list of demands for her trailer. Her co-stars called the experience bananas which is never a good thing. It's no wonder that her cameo didn't make it into the final cut of the movie. And let's not forget about her feud with fellow American Idol judge Nicki Minaj back in 2012. The two stars were rumored to be at odds from the moment they were both hired on the show. It was during the audition rounds of American Idol that it became clear their feud was more than just rumors. During an argument with Mariah, Nicki said she wasn't going to put up with Mariah anymore and sarcastically called her her highness. Up next, number nine, we have Lindsay Lohan. It has been quite a while since we've seen Lindsay lighting up the big screen. Why? One reason could be that she is a huge pain to work with, apparently. Lindsay's lack of professionalism once led to the CEO of Morgan Street Productions threatening to sue Lohan over her behavior on the set of the 2007 film, Georgia Rule. In the letter, Lindsay was called out for her many absences from set and constant partying during production. Even Jane Fonda, her co-star in the movie, had had enough with Lindsay and yelled at the actress for being late on set one day. I would not want Jane Fonda to yell at me. Like that just scared me and it's not even me. Apparently Lindsay didn't learn from the experience though. In 2010, when she filmed a guest appearance for Glee, Lindsay was apparently late and unprepared when she arrived on set. I had no idea Lindsay was in Glee. Coming in at number eight is Emma Roberts. Just because you are related to Hollywood royalty, Emma's aunt is Julia Roberts after all. That doesn't mean it's okay to act like a total princess. But I guess no one told Emma Roberts that. It is rumored that the actress was very difficult to work with on the set of American horror story Coven, and even got called out by co-star Gabre Sidibe. Apparently, Roberts was rude to others on the show and wouldn't talk to crew members. While filming another Ryan Murphy show, Scream Queens, Emma was confronted yet again by a co-star. Allegedly, Jamie Lee Curtis was not a fan of Roberts' diva antics on set and let the actress know. It must have done the trick that time because her behavior was reportedly improved after 
after the chat with Jamie Lee. I also would not want Jamie Lee Curtis yelling at me. I love her. After Freaky Friday, I always wish she was my mom. Fun fact, in case you wanted to know. And for number seven, we have Leah Michelle. While she may have played a diva on TV, Leah Michelle's off screen behavior could give her glee character, Rachel Berry, a run for her money. Michelle was called out on Twitter by former co star Samantha Ware for making her time on glee a living hell. And after Ware opened the floodgates, the shade from former castmates kept on coming in. Amber Riley responded to Ware's tweets by posting a gif of herself sipping some tea. Heather Morris tweeted, Was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. Melissa Benoist and Michelle Scream Queen's co star Abigail Breslin didn't make comments themselves, but were caught liking tweets about Michelle following this incident. That's the silent way of getting involved. They're like, I agree with you, but I'm not going to say anything about it because they don't want to get too involved. I do that all the time. At number six is Katherine Heigl. When Heigl left Grey's Anatomy in 2010, she said it was so she could focus on her family. However, it's speculated that her departure may be due to tension between her and the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes. A few years after Heigl left Grey's, Rhimes, while speaking about her show Scandal, said, There are no Heigls in this situation. I don't put up with that bullshit or nasty people. I don't have time for that. This isn't the first time Katherine Heigl has been on the receiving end of these kinds of comments. After calling her 2007 film Knocked Up a little sexist, the actress was seen as difficult to work with, a label her career is only now recovering from. If that, because where is she? I actually don't know. I haven't seen her in anything in so long. At our halfway point, number five, we have Ellen. For years, the talk show host was beloved by audiences for being nice. That is until 2020 when former employees of the Ellen DeGeneres show spoke out about what it's like to work for Ellen and they did not have very nice things to say. According to former staff members, Ellen's on-camera kindness was all for show and that they weren't allowed to speak to her when they actually saw her. Ironically, Mariah Carey has also spoken about her negative experience with DeGeneres. According to Carrie, Ellen made her feel extremely uncomfortable when she grilled the pop star about whether or not she was pregnant during an interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Other celebrities, like Everybody Hates Raymond star Brad Garrett, have given their own negative accounts of Ellen. Garrett claims to know multiple people treated horribly by the talk show host. Jumping on down to number four is Julia Roberts. It looks like diva behavior runs in the family because much like her famous niece Emma, Julia Roberts is no picnic to work with. And picnics are a good time. While playing Tinkerbell in the 1991 film Hook, the actress was apparently given the nickname Tinker Hell by crew members. While her director on the film, Steven Spielberg, defends her behavior, that hasn't stopped her difficult reputation from following her in the years since. In 1994, on the set of I Love Trouble, it was confirmed by both Roberts and co-star Nick Nolte that the two did not get along. Nolte went as far as to say that she is not a nice person. It is rumored that even an acting legend like Meryl Streep can't convince anyone that she likes Julia Roberts. The two August Osage County stars were apparently so at odds over screen time that Meryl won't work with Julia ever again. That is like an actor's nightmare. Imagine Meryl Streep not wanting to work with you. Just I would just give up at that point. Heading into our number three spot is Kanye West. It is no secret that Kanye West has had some pretty eccentric behaviors, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that he is less than ideal to work with. Apparently Apparently Wes tortures the people at his label Def Jams and that he is one of the most difficult artists to deal with in the business. Honestly, I could have told you that though. I feel like everyone knows that. While collaborating with Kanye can be tough, it sounds like working for Kanye is no walk in the park either. A former bodyguard of Wes had shared some of his diva antics. According to him, he was only to wear black around Wes, touching Kanye would get you fired, and bodyguards were not allowed to speak when Kanye was walking by. Kanye's rules also include his then wife, Kim Kardashian. The bodyguard claims he was fired two weeks in when Kanye caught him bumping into Kim in the hallway. Wow, their marriage sounded like a great time. That's sad because they are divorced now. All the way in the number two spot, we have Kanye's now ex sister in law, Kourtney Kardashian. Kourtney is known on the show for her hilarious deadpan comments, which are often at her siblings' expenses. She's my idol. I honestly love her sass. I live for it. Though she's often joking, sometimes she can take it too far. 
star. Not even Courtney's own mother could deny that the reality star was hard to work with. Kris Jenner told Andy Cohen at the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion that her eldest daughter was the hardest one to manage. Courtney herself couldn't argue with her momager. I don't want to do things if it's not something I'm really into doing. My answer is no for most things, and if it's going to be yes, I want to know every detail of what I'm going to be asked for. Kim Kardashian has also called out her sister for rude behavior. In one incident, Kim says that Courtney was so mean to one of her nannies that she brought her to tears. According to Kim, Courtney can't even keep a nanny. I wonder why. And finally, in our number one spot, we have Justin Bieber. Becoming a pop star at such a young age could get to anyone's head, and Justin is no exception. Former SNL cast member Bill Hader said that he really didn't enjoy having Justin Bieber around. Hader says that when Justin hosted the show, he brought around an entourage of 20 people. Apparently, the Biebs had his staff hand feeding him pizza and Diet Coke. Where's that kind of treatment for me, Chris? <laughs> I can't eat pizza, it's fine. Fellow SNL star Kate McKinnon says that Bieber wasn't pleased by her hilarious impressions of the pop star. His diva behavior isn't exclusive to SNL though. Justin has also developed a reputation for throwing tantrums on stage, leaving concerts early, and showing up late to his own shows. Once he even scolded a fan for throwing her hat on stage before later storming off stage because of the audience's screaming. Isn't that the point of your concert? Wouldn't you prefer them to scream than to not scream? Scream, I feel like that would be so awkward. Starting off the list at number 10, we have Jennifer Lopez. The famous celebrity is rumored to be one of the worst people to work with because of her constant demands and cold attitude. Jennifer even lost an opportunity to perform at a Premier League tournament for insisting on a tab of demands that includes a private jet and nine dressing rooms. The league couldn't sustain those demands and decided to give their performance to someone else. Not only that, but when filming on Set, Lopez is known to only communicate through assistants and wouldn't talk to other people working on set herself and would request for people not to apparently look at her. It's gotten to the point that Jennifer is known to be unable to keep a consistent makeup artist and stylist for her unlikable behavior. Honestly, if you put me on a set with JLo, there's no way I'm not looking at her. From there, the number nine spot is taken by Bruce Willis. According to many people who have worked with the actor, he is very difficult to work with. Director Kevin Smith even said that working with Bruce was a soul crushing experience because his positive expectations of the actor turned sour. Bruce was apparently known on set to have a big ego and when filming came to an end, Kevin Smith thanked everyone who worked on the film except Bruce because he was apparently a pain to work with. Another director came forward to say that he also had a hard time working with the actor as the pair would clearly not get along and didn't speak a word to each other off camera. Number eight is going to Megan Fox. According to people who have worked closely with her, Megan finds it hard to continuously have steady work solely because she is tough to work with apparently. When filming on the set of Transformers, certain crew members released a statement claiming that Megan was consistently late or didn't even show up at all. They also stated that she always complained and didn't seem the least bit interested in filming and because of how she acted on set, Megan was actually kicked out of the multi-million dollar franchise of the Transformers. Let's also not not forget all that drama she had with the director of the movies, Michael Bay. Whoa. Honestly, I think that's what got her fired. Um, but you're gonna have to look at one of our other videos for that story. Heading to number seven, we have the actor Jennifer Aniston. No! <laughs> no, I refuse to believe it. No, oh, that's sad. The actress is known for playing likable characters on the big screen, which is why I got so upset because I love her so much. But that kindness apparently doesn't hold up behind the camera. On set, instead of riding with all the other actors, she requested her own luxury SUV to escort her only wherever she wanted to go. She would also disappear into her trailer to avoid interacting with people on set. Though the complaints don't end there, Jennifer has also requested a change to a character's name because the character shared the same name as the apparent woman who ruined her marriage and wouldn't show up to set until that name was changed. I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit dramatic to me. Um, whether it's true or not, I like to believe that it isn't, but that's because I love her. Moving on to our number six spot, we have Lady Gaga. Depending on who you ask, Lady Gaga could be a pleasure to work with or very unpleasant 
to work with. And according to her former personal assistant, Jennifer O'Neill, Lady Gaga was awful to work with. Her former assistant complained that she had to be on call 24 7 for the pop star, sleep in the same bed, and be demanded around to do simple tasks when Lady Gaga was just too lazy to do them herself. Lady Gaga was sued by her personal assistant for unpaid overtime. When questioned about the allegations against her, Lady Gaga stated that she's actually wonderful to work with and cannot fathom that Jennifer would sue her. The two faced each other in court and eventually they settled it out between each other. It's hard to know who was actually in the wrong in this dispute, but there's one thing for sure and that it's probably not a good idea to sleep in the same bed as your personal assistant. That's a very strange request if that's true, and I'm uncomfortable. Although I would sleep in the bed with Lady Gaga. <laughs> Because I'm a crazy fan. <laughs> Take at number five, we have supermodel Naomi Campbell. Coming from personal staff and fashion designers that she's worked with, the model has been labeled as a drama queen. Campbell was notorious for arriving late to bookings, acting irrational and uncontrollable on set. She has even left the people working for her in tears for how much of a diva she is. Other people who have worked with her have mentioned that their team has lied on multiple occasions in order to protect Campbell's image. It got so bad that one of Naomi's employees filed charges against her, and even though she denied them, she was found guilty of an assault charge. She was sentenced to five days of not so glamorous community service, but that has not stopped her in continuing to act like the drama queen that she apparently is. The number four spot is given to Jennifer Lawrence. You may know her in her role in The Hunger Games, but her co-workers know her as a nuisance to work with. Lawrence presents herself as a relatable girl to the public for her risky jokes and careless behavior, creating a very likable public image. I vibe with her. But when this behavior is brought on set, instead of being likable, it seems very unprofessional. Multiple co-stars of hers have called her out for being hard to work with as she doesn't care to remember her lines, breaks character often, pulls pranks on set, and apparently oversteps people's boundaries. Her unprofessional behavior has caused multiple people in the industry to avoid working with her again and has led to her taking this number four spot. Jumping to our number three spot, we have musician Chris Brown. Chris is not new to controversy and that trend continues with his relationship with other people in his industry. Apparently on his appearance on Good Morning America, Chris threw a temper tantrum after being questioned about his charges and Chris became so angry that he walked off set and hid in his dressing room. Additionally, Brown's personal employees and security have come forward to tell the public how difficult he was to work with and mentioning that every day they wouldn't know if he would wake up on the wrong side or the right side of the bed. He does have temper and let's not forget the Rihanna story y'all. Anger issues. We're at the number two spot and that is going to the famous actor Jared Leto. One of the main reasons other celebrities avoid working with Leto is for his off camera behavior in the movie Suicide Squad. When the actor was cast as the Joker, he had big shoes to fill for former Joker Heath Ledger. Though Leto took the role very seriously beyond the camera and maybe too seriously. Jared Leto crossed the line with his antics towards his co-stars when sending co-star Margot Robbie and other actors starring in the movie deceased animals and other disturbing gifts. Like I'm not even kidding. He'd wrap them up in a box and send it to their trailers. Very weird. This was justified by him to get more in character, he said, and to better portray the Joker role, but all it accomplished was making his co-stars very uncomfortable. Like no thanks. That's weird method acting. And finally, taking our number one spot, we have Shia LaBeouf. In his rise to fame, Shia seemed to be a personable celebrity that was gaining the likeness of the public. But after his claim to fame, Shia has been in multiple controversies in the media that has made the public and the people working with him turn to dislike him. Now the actor is notorious in the industry for his ignorance and very big ego. From the multiple accusations against him of plagiarism to criminal offenses, Shia has a great deal of offenses against him. Sources that have worked close to the actor have claimed that he is not easy to work with and his behavior towards his female co-stars is unacceptable. Furthermore, Shia's life behind the camera has become increasingly dangerous to the people around him. The actor cannot seem to stay away from the headlines with multiple lawsuits against him from his ex-girlfriend, FKA Twig, being charged with trespassing, charged with harassment, and being escorted off set for his disruptive behavior. Starting off this countdown, we have Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. This celebrity couple met on set of That 70s Show. They were a couple on screen 
screen and eventually off screen as well. In fact, Mila said that her first real kiss was with Ashton Kutcher. And now they are happily married with two kids, Wyatt and Dimitri. But I'm sure you have heard about the controversy recently involving them and their kids. While appearing on an episode of Dak Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, the topic somehow got onto bathing and they revealed that they weren't too concerned on bathing their kids. Mila said, and I quote, I wasn't that parent that bathed my newborns. Kutcher continued on saying, and I quote, if you can see the dirt on them, clean them. Otherwise, there's no point. This caused an uproar and people started hating on the couple for not taking care of their kids properly. I personally love the two. It's cute how they went from dating in the show to dating in real life to then getting married. And honestly, they are great people and parents from what I can see. Moving on at number nine, we have Katy Perry and Russell Brand. This relationship had toxic written all over it. So the pair first met at the MTV Video Music Awards in 2008. After three months of dating, Brand proposed to Katie while vacationing in India. But this relationship had a number of problems. Apparently, they would get into fights about everything, from her partying to when they were going to have children to his stand-up jokes. You get it. Not only that, but apparently Brand was often jealous of Perry's success and felt like he was living in her shadow. In Katy Perry's Part of Me documentary, it showed her curled up and crying in her dressing room on a number of occasions after having fights with Brand. Katie also called him controlling. In the end, Brand broke it off with her through a text message and said that his relationship with Katie was boring and compared it to being on a diet of white rice. That's rude. So people were open to the relationship at first, but as months passed, they were not here for it at all. They didn't like how they got married so fast and knew he didn't treat her the best. Moving on to number eight, we have Aaron Taylor Johnson and Sam Taylor. Johnson. Now the reason why this couple received so much hate is because of their age difference. So the pair met on set of the film Nowhere Boy in 2008. Aaron played the lead and Sam was the director. A year later, the two were engaged. But Aaron was 18 at the time that they met and Sam was 42. With a 24 year age gap, fans were thinking the worst about Sam and her intentions with Aaron. Years later, the couple are still going strong. In fact, just recently they both got tattoos on the left side of their chest with each other's name on it. So suck it haters, sorry but this pair is here to stay. In our 7th spot we have Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Talk about a controversial relationship. This relationship had drama written all over it. So apparently the two first got together in 2012 while Kim was still in the middle of getting her divorce with Chris Humphreys all figured out. Then in December of 2012 Kim revealed that she was pregnant and the two were expecting their first child together. Fast forward to now. The pair Kara now has four children together and their marriage is rocky. According to the Keeping Up with the Kardashian show, the pair have been fighting for a while. From fights over Kim refusing to give Kanye a band aid, to Kanye feeling neglected, to him not liking her Met Gala dress, saying it's far too revealing, you name it. They would fight several times a day. But the final straw apparently was a couple months ago when Kanye started acting more erratic. He accused Kim and Chris on Twitter and exposed that him and Kim were contemplating having a board when she was pregnant with Northwest. Honestly, people were concerned about the relationship and their clashing egos from the start. And rumor has it that Kim was preparing the divorce papers since 2018. Moving on at number 6 we have Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra. Another very attractive couple, but they have received a lot of hate. The pair first started talking in 2016 after Nick slid into her Twitter DMs. How romantic. But it took two years before the two made it official in May of 2018 after confirming that they were dating. After just two months of dating, yes, two months, Nick proposed. By December of that year, they were married. No one was expecting that. It all happened way too fast. In fact, some people believe that they aren't even a real couple. It's all just for show. They also have received hate for their age gap. Priyanka is 36 and Nick is 26. Again, love is love despite age, but whatever. Not only that, people think they married each other just to boost their brands. Hmm. But what do you think about the relationship? Are you here for it or not? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Beyonce and Jay Z. I think people hate this pair because they think that Beyonce can do way better, especially after Jay Z admitted to cheating on her. Like, you're with Beyonce! She's gorgeous and talented. Why would you ever cheat on her? Anyways, the pair seemed to hit a rough patch in 2014 after Beyonce's sister got in a fight with Jay Z and punched him in an elevator after the Met Ball. The footage was soon leaked and people were like, ooh. 
ooh, what did Jay-Z do? Later, it was revealed that the fight was because of Jay-Z's affair with Rachel Roy. People were like, Beyonce doesn't deserve this. No one cheats on our queen. And that's why people don't like them together. Moving on to number four, we have Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber. Okay, here we go, folks. Hardcore Jelena super fans were outraged when Justin Bieber and Hailey Baldwin got together. For them, Hailey was getting in the way of Justin and Selena getting back together. They just refuse to accept that they both have moved on. Apart from the Jelena shippers, others aren't too fond on how Justin treats Haley. In April of 2021, Justin and Haley were caught by the paparazzi going to a cafe. When they arrived, Justin gets out of the car and then slams the door in Haley's face. Awkward. Another time, the pair were on Instagram Live together and he told Haley to back off and stop touching him after she gave him a hug. So people were getting snappy saying the two are not a good pair for each other. Other, that he needs to treat Haley better. In our third spot today, we have Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. I think most of the hate that this couple receives is from diehard Mendez fans that are mad that he's taken because they thought that they had a shot with him. Anyways, the pair were first photographed together at the 2015 VMAs. They then met again the same year at the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas. And that's when she went into his dressing room to say hi and talk. The cuties made it official in I believe 2019, and they are apparently still Still going strong. But the pair did receive some backlash in February of 2021 when Mendez posted a picture of Camila on Instagram for Valentine's Day. In the photo, he was kissing her foot, and the comments on this photo were harsh. They were calling him disgusting and the relationship cringy. Yikes. In our second spot, we have Dak Shepard and Kristen Bell. Honestly, my mom and dad. They're both talented actors and they're hilarious. But unfortunately, the pair has received their fair share of hate. First off, the two are are very open about their relationship. In September of 2020, the two shared a story and photo on Instagram that had a lot of people shocked. It shows him and Belle in a car and she's bent over a bottle. Turns out she was actually peeing in this bottle, which I mean, for a girl to do, that's hella impressive. He captioned the photo on Instagram and I quote, the most important part of this photo isn't that my bride at Kristen Annie Bell is peeing in the car. It's that the car is 36 hours old. So much disrespect that I almost have to respect it. People were like, okay, why would they tell us this, TMI? Belle went on to explain that she doesn't F with public restrooms during a pandemic. Then we have the beer controversy. Dax was struggling with his addiction on and off. So he doesn't drink beer, but he does enjoy a good old non-alcoholic beer. Apparently, they let their daughters drink it too. I know it's non-alcoholic, but their kids are six and eight, and it doesn't seem like the most appropriate thing for them to be drinking. So people got mad at them for that as well. And of course, they also admitted that they don't regularly bathe their kids as well. I mean, I love them together, screw the haters. And in our number one spot today, we have Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. They are a good looking couple, not gonna lie. But their behavior at the VMAs on September 12th was just downright cringy. It all started during Megan's interview with Entertainment Tonight. She was talking about Machine Gun Kelly and how he helped pick out her outfit. She said, he was like, you're gonna be naked tonight. And I was like, whatever you say. <laughs> she then continued on calling him daddy and then said whatever daddy says that's not all though the interviewer asked her if the two would be collaborating in machine gun kelly's future music videos and she said and i quote he's not allowed to have other hoes in his music videos it's the queen or nothing. All right then. Then of course the two were all over each other during the event, touching and kissing each other, you name it. Another cringy moment for the pair was when Megan posted a photo of herself on Instagram from their Airbnb the two were staying at. The caption was, when I tell you that the table at this Airbnb saw some things. Machine Gun Kelly replied with, I'm glad that's not our table. So we all know what they did on that table, okay? But come on, we don't need to know about it. At number 10, Eminem. What happens when one rapper crosses another? Well, a few begins. We've seen this type of thing before with a number of rappers like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, Kanye West and Drake, and Drake and Meek Mill, and just so many others. But another toxic duo we can include here is Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly because their feud has also been pretty big. It all started back all the way in 2012 when MGK was 22 and he tweeted about Eminem's then 16 year old daughter Hailey. MGK tweeted calling Hailey hot in quote the most respectful way possible because M is king. Now even though 
though Kelly meant to be respectful, he still crossed the line with that tweet, and so a feud began. Because of this initial tweet, MGK's music got banned on the radio for a while, and as it would, it made him angry, especially with Eminem. So in 2018, MGK made a song with Tech 9 where he shaded the rapper, and then shortly after that, Eminem hit back with his own song, shading his rival in return. From that point, it was just a lot of messy back and forth, talking trash about each other in interviews and in music. Really, at one point, this beef just kind of got exhausting, and people just started speculating that this feud was just fabricated because they're both signed to the same label. It's been pretty quiet between them since early 2020, so maybe this toxicity has subsided, but you can never really be too sure with these two. At number 9, Conor McGregor. Now this beef here is what got a lot of people scratching their heads because it seemed to have just come out of the blue, and it left a lot of us feeling a little confused. At the VMAs this year, while walking the red carpet, there was quite the altercation between MGK and Conor McGregor. The rapper was at the VMAs for a performance, and because he was up for an award, which he later won by the way, and Conor, well, he was just there for his buddy Bieber. Anyway, they were both on the red carpet at the beginning of the evening, and an altercation broke out. Based on some of the footage that was posted of the event, Conor appeared to have thrown a drink at MGK and then proceeded to try and fight him. It was really dramatic, and no one knows why the altercation even happened in the first place. It was first rumored that they got into a fight because MGK refused to take a picture with McGregor, but the rapper later denied those allegations. It was such a bizarre situation that no one really has any answers for, but clearly there's some kind of bad blood there, so if anyone really knows why that is, please let me know. Now before I carry on talking about people who dislike Machine Gun Kelly, I would first like to take a quick moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, because your engagement really does help the channel grow and we really appreciate your support. At number 8, Gabriel Rodriguez. Now this next story I'm going to tell you about is one that I had no idea about until my roommate told me about it, so shout out to Blake for being the real MVP and saving this list. Basically, there was an altercation between the rapper and his bodyguards and an actor by the name of Gabriel Rodriguez at a bar because Rodriguez was mad at MGK for that tweet about Eminem's daughter that I told you guys about earlier. After the actor harassed the rapper at the bar, he was soon kicked out, but he caught up to MGK and his crew later on that night. Still angry, the actor and MGK got into a verbal altercation, and then the actor said that he would fight the rapper's bodyguards, which is exactly what ended up happening. The actor got pummeled, and charges were filed against the bodyguards, but this man was really determined to get into the ring, so to speak, with MGK, because he said that he would drop all charges if he could fight the rapper one on one. Either way, this matter was taken care of through a lawsuit and with monetary compensation, but I wouldn't be surprised if that actor still wants to fight Machine Gun Kelly. At number 7, Jeff Lewis. It seems like Machine Gun Kelly isn't just loud on stage, but also at home. You would think that he would put this loud rocker persona to rest while at home in his free time, but according to his neighbors, that couldn't be further from the truth. His neighbors have said that he's known to host loud and crazy parties, disturbing much of his community, and he's also known to have joy rides with his friends on the block. Neighbors have also complained about loud motorcycles revving their engines at inappropriate times of the night, and his guests have also spilled over into neighboring properties from time to time. It's also been reported that during parties, Kelly's guests have parked in neighbors driveways and have blocked many of the neighbors cars as well. It really seems as though he doesn't have a sense of respect for other people's properties or quiet hours. This all caused a feud between the rapper and his neighbor TV personality Jeff Lewis, who exposed Machine Gun Kelly for his nightly shenanigans. Luckily, they were able to bury the hatchet after the rapper bought Jeff a bottle of champagne as a truce, but what I really want to know is did the shenanigans actually stop, or did Jeff just get over it for the sake of his frenemy? On number 6, g Easy. Okay, now that we've talked about some non-music related beefs with Machine Gun Kelly, let's circle back to this Eminem feud because this is where a lot of the hate really stems from. When it comes to feuds like this, you always see people taking sides, and so this is how MGK made some enemies along the way since a number of other artists sided with Eminem on this matter, including rapper g Easy, and this made things a little messy. See, g Easy already had a mild amount of hate for MGK after beach photos surfaced of MGK and Halsey spending the day together. At the time, Halsey and g Easy were on a break, but as far as g Easy was concerned, that was still his girl and Kelly crossed the line. So when this Eminem vs MGK stuff started to heat up, g Easy obviously sided with the opposition. As we all know by now though, rappers just can't let things rest and so MGK did a freestyle rap during an interview and shaded g Easy, and then g Easy clapped back with his own diss track for MGK. You know, this back and forth rapper drama is incredibly exhausting. <laughs> Between them fighting over Halsey and picking sides in a 
a completely different fight. Things got messy, but the bottom line here is that they really don't like each other. Get away from me, fly. Don't make me square up with you. <laughs> At number five, Halsey. But speaking of Halsey, we can't forget to include her side of the narrative here. Tying into this beef with Jeezy and MGK, Halsey was sort of stuck in the middle of this. She sort of had two people fighting over them, just adding to the overall messiness of the feud. Though I wouldn't say that she downright hates Machine Gun Kelly, there was a point where she certainly wasn't impressed by the way that he was acting. Halsey responded to all the drama that was going on at the time by calling Machine Gun Kelly, quote, pathetic. This is in response to the claims that MGK made during an interview where he said that he had quote, smashed Halsey after allegedly dating in 2017. This all seems to be water under the bridge now since MGK and Halsey collaborated on the song Forget Me Too that was released last year, but I'm going to assume that it took a little while for things to cool off between them before coming back together to work. At number four, Miller McCormick. Machine Gun Kelly recently made a new enemy, and that enemy is Miller McCormick, the brother of the late Mac Miller. The rapper was set to start production on a new film titled Good News, but after facing criticism from McCormick, it was looking like the film would start production untitled. The film in question was supposed to be about an up and coming musician who struggled with deep rooted personal issues and is inspired by a lot of young rappers' origin stories. Now, the problem that Miller McCormick had with this film in particular was the fact that the title was the same as the last song that was released by Mac Miller. Posthumously. That combined with the strange similarity to Mac's life just didn't sit right with him, and he had to make that known. McCormick seemed to criticize MGK's movie on his Instagram, where he said, quote, F you movie, at least change the title. This sparked a number of others also calling for changes to the film, and this later reached producers who vowed to change the film's title. Now, we don't know if all of this similarity to Mac Miller was intentional or not, but either way, MGK got in some hot water and probably lost some respect from McCormick. At number three, Corey Taylor. Recently, Machine Gun Kelly went through sort of a metamorphosis of music, so to speak, reinventing his sound. The rapper recently released an album that was more punk rock alternative sounding, and a lot of people had opinions on it as they do. One person who really had nothing nice to say about MGK's new sound was Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor as he shared his thoughts on artists in the rock genre in a recent interview. Essentially, Corey said that artists these days are ripping off their sound from other more original artists, and he also took a jab at MGK when he said, quote, I hate the artists who failed in one genre and decided to go rock. I think he knows who he is, but that's another story. I'm the worst. I hate everything, and people are used to that with me, though. That seemed like quite a loaded comment at MGK and there was a lot of theory behind it as well. Either way, this new sound that MGK is working with really seems to be paying off for him since he recently won a VMA for best alternative video for his song My Ex's Best Friend, which is actually a banger if you haven't checked that one out already. <laughs> At number two, Summer Rae. Even though Machine Gun Kelly is thriving with his girlfriend Megan Fox, apparently there's some alleged drama surrounding their relationship and his former relationship with Instagram model Summer Rae. This influencer recently alleged that MGK cheated on her with Megan while he was away filming for the movie Midnight in the Switchgrass. That film set is where Megan and MGK first met. Summer, going into more detail, said, quote, I don't really feel bad saying that because he did kind of cheat on me with Megan Fox if you look at the timeline. Summer also alleged that she had confronted Kelly about why she was told that she wasn't allowed to be on the set for one of his music videos. MGK said that it was because of COVID, but she later found out that it was because Megan was playing the rapper's love interest in the video. Overall, Summer was just left to feeling a little betrayed at the end of it all, so I don't really blame her for having some kind of negative energy towards Machine Gun Kelly. And finally, at number one, Brian Austin Green. Now, the one person who I feel would really hate Machine Gun Kelly the most is Megan Fox's ex-husband, Brian Austin Green. Although he tried to make people think that things are all fine and dandy with him, and that most of his hostility is more so directed to Megan, I feel like deep down there's still some hatred there for Kelly, since he's the one that Megan fell in love with first after him. Ever since Megan and Machine Gun Kelly went public with their relationship, Brian has spoken out about the relationship a few times, but a lot of people feel as though he's hiding his true feelings. In one interview, when asked about how he found out about the relationship, he gave very few details and simply said, quote, I found out in my own way, and that's as much detail as I'll give you on that one. Something just isn't right there, but I feel as though in time his true feelings will come out, and I feel like it might be a little messy too. Maybe a diss track will also come out of it.